Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing Alien Isolation on the Steam Deck. So native resolution and the highest settings as you can see. I only disable chromatic aberration and yeah, let's disable motion bar as well. Not, not a big fan of it, in this game it's pretty aggressive. And the SSAO, you got standard or HDAO, we're going to be using HDAO because it performs worse and it should look a little bit better. So we apply the changes and we enable the FPS counter and as you'll see, well, <laughs> it's completely fine. This game is pretty old, it even came out for the PlayStation 3. So, yeah, and if you disable HDAO, it will be over 80 FPS all the time. So while getting super high FPS is great, I love that the game runs like that. It's a waste of resources because the Steam Deck has only 60 Hz on the screen. So let's lock it to 60. You can use the in-game V-Sync to do that as well. And there you go. It should be flat 60 across the board. I'm not sure why we never got a sequel to this game. It's also on Nintendo Switch with a new TAA implementation. And I never finished it. <laughs> I couldn't, yeah, my patience got the best of me. But still. As I was saying, the Switch has a TAA, a better TAA implementation. I wish we had that on this one as well, but unfortunately we do not. We only have uh, uh, SMAA G2X. It's pretty... The edges are pretty jaggy, pretty jacked. So jaggy, jaggy is everywhere. But on the small screen it's a little bit less noticeable. I wish we got that TAA implementation natively. There's probably mods that add something like that. But from the get-go, it's completely fine. So yeah. If you never played it, I recommend you do so, especially if you're a fan of the franchise and you like horror games. You cannot kill the alien once it shows up. You gotta flee, basically, so good luck to you, sir sir or madam but in doing what it does is pretty good at it the alien is pretty smart so yeah nothing to tweak also if you want to play on a on a monitor you can do 1080p should be pretty easy to do so connect it to a monitor and do so uh, the thing is uh, lower the ambient occlusion to SSAO instead of HDAO just some advice so you get better performance and you can play at 60 basically all the time so this is a pretty well running one Hello? Anyone here? despite the um, well the edge of the game makes it obvious that it was going to work Anything here work? But it works better than I anticipated, still. So, I remember running this at 4K on a 1050Ti, on a GTX 1050Ti. Pretty crazy. Also, if you want to save battery, you can lower the settings to high. Still looks good. So yeah. Utility. Select. There we go. The door should be open now. Yeah, don't get hit by that cable. Happened to me the first time I played it. It scared the crap out of me. <laughs> so. So yeah, and the atmosphere on this game is amazing as well. They really made it work. Still, uh, again, I'm not sure why they had, hadn't had made a sequel as of yet. It's 
especially considering it's from a very well-known franchise. So recommended if you like again the franchise and horror games in general or you cannot fight out of it you got weapons but it's not going to be effective against the alien only against the the robots that are along the way We're going to be moving along vents, avoiding the alien, trying not to make noise and not get killed in the process. All, all saves are manual and scattered across the map. Let's keep that there. And I know this from memory, really, this part. Okay. This whole damn place is falling apart. But if we're playing this at night alone with headphones, you're not going to last very long. You're going to lose no not November. Although we're still in April, so that doesn't apply, I guess. See? When I was playing that alone at night, man, it scared the crap out of me as well. If I find any mods to inject TAA, I'll let you guys know. It's gotta be the exit up ahead. Yeah, but I need some bolt cutters for that. I forgot where to go. Oh, never mind. Oh, also, if you want some extra battery life, let me show you my battery life settings. Level of detail, high, slightly, sl slightly smaller shadow map resolution, shadow mapping on high. Particles on high. Um, what else? Well, SSAO on standard. Volumetric lighting, we keep it. And that's basically it. High settings with SSAO. And that should give you more battery life because you're stressing the GPU less. So it'll look a little bit worse, but you get more battery life. It's using way less GPU. Alright. We got it. We got it, sir. But oh man. I never thought we could play this game on the go. It's kind of crazy. I remember playing this on the 750 Ti, the day it came out. Yeah, time flies. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This game runs absolutely fine on the Steam Deck, no surprises, but still, it's nice to see, even on the smaller screen, it's a blast, as long as you enjoy horror games where you cannot fight, fight back against the main enemy. If you're looking for that, well, oh, there you are. If you're looking for, okay, I fight everyone, well, this is not the game you're looking for. 
So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.